Blendon's a story about a single dad uh, played by Adam Sandler. He has three daughters, he's a widow, uh, and he's sort of struggling to bring these girls uh, up because he doesn't have a mom around. And uh, it's also about a single mom played by Drew Barrymore, and she has two young boys, and she kind of needs a dad in her life. They're kind of going off the rails. Um, and they end up on a blind date in the very beginning of the movie. And the blind date goes the way probably most blind dates go. It's really horrible, but what's great about this is it's probably the worst horrible blind date ever, uh, thus lending ourselves to moments of great comedy, uh, Drew spitting food out and the like. Um, but it uh, all kind of unravels in a terrible way. Uh, they go off hating each other. Um, and they go back to their lives, and we get to see how they really do need a counterpart uh, in their life. We got the great Adam Sandler with the great Drew Barrymore. We got Wendy McClendon Covey. Uh, we have Joel McHale. We have Terry Crews. We have Bella Thorne. And we have Emma Furman. And we have Braxton Beckham. And we have Kyle Red Silverstein. And we have me behind the camera. Doesn't get better than that. Adam happens to be stopping by Drew's house uh, to give back her credit card that they switched when they met. And he overhears this whole commotion about this amazing trip that Drew's friend uh, is, is going to go on. And now she's not going to go on. And he thinks in his head, this is a perfect opportunity to take my girls to a place they would never have gone you know, a spring break trip like no other. Drew gets the same idea. Her character, Lauren, gets the same idea. Wow, I can finally take my boys away. Her dad stood up the kids for spring break. This is her chance to take her boys to Africa and be kind of their hero. So two people going on an amazing trip. Uh, the one thing they don't realize is they're going to have to share rooms together and spend the trip together. So the whole setup's great because Adam and Drew, who don't like each other at all, have to get stuck with a lot of alone time. Well, this will be the greatest thing because you've got kids, you got animals, and you have this amazing backdrop. And as a filmmaker, I mean, filming in Africa, and we're in South Africa, the sunsets are gorgeous. The landscape is gorgeous. Um, there's just, you know, all the animals, almost every animal in the movie is a real animal that we photographed on safari. And, and Cars was such a great producer to find this script. He developed it for years. And uh, he was so awesome to have on the set. He fit right in with our group immediately. He's just a laid back, cool, really smart guy. Uh, and he always had great suggestions. We were shooting um, a scene where Drew was parasailing. And uh, you know he was like, can't there be an animal or something? And, and we were talking about having a giraffe that she almost hits. And then it's funny how one idea turns into another. For me, what changed is, you know, Drew got to be funny in The Wedding Singer. Since I worked with her, her comedy chops were like here. I mean, she's not the straight person in a lot of the scenes. She's, she's the one choking on the soup. She wanted to do 50 takes, and she wanted to drink the soup every time. She was so dedicated to the comedy, so dedicated to every aspect. But the thing that blew me away was, you know, I knew she was a great actress. The comedy chops that she has now, are just they just blow you away. There's like another layer of the movie going on because they're a couple that have been on screen so many times that suddenly them making fun of each other was part of the charm. And it was part of sort of the energy that was happening. And uh, man, it was, just, uh, it was just like magic was happening. You know, it's sort of like, I feel like a lot was created when we did The Wedding Singer and you put the two of them together and a lot of it was just like, let it just happen, let it happen, you know? Yeah, so it was great. This was like the reunion movie. It was me and Adam and Tim and Jack Garaputo uh, all back together with Drew. And, and it was, uh, I like to think it was a reunion movie and it was time to do it.